you've heard from the White House over and over and over again um, that we will continue to help Israel defend itself. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. Well, Leela, and thank you very much for having me. I do think that we need to be stepping up and helping as much as possible for Israel. So in the short term, whatever Israel decides to do militarily, there are things that we can do. One is getting the supplemental package over the finish line to make sure they have the munitions and the platforms necessary to defend themselves. But going beyond that, we also can support them logistically. We can support with targeting options. Operations, what, whatever have you, we need to be there for our closest friend and ally in the Middle East. Uh, for the long term, what we need to do as the United States of America is making sure that Iran does not have the revenue stream to continue building and buying these drones and ballistic missiles. And that means we need to step up and enforce the oil sanctions that we have against Iran. We need to make sure we are cutting them off, we are choking the funds out so they cannot not sustain what they are doing to Israel as well as targeting American troops in the region. Now look, fair enough to say that when there were severe sanctions on them um, and when the United States had not made the deals of the Biden administration, they couldn't afford to export terror uh, in the way that they can now because they simply didn't have the money. I want to unpack a little bit of your first answer. You said there is more we can do. Um, again, the White House keeps saying, and let's play John Kirby, uh, we do not seek a war. <laughs> Whether and how the Israelis will respond, uh, that's going to be up to them. We understand that and respect that. But the president's been very clear. We don't seek a war with Iran. We're not looking for escalation here. We will continue to help Israel defend itself. We're not looking for escalation here. We continue to help Israel to defend itself. So I, I put it back just to put a finer point on this. We haven't said we're going to help them with targeting information. We haven't said that we're going to help them logistically. We haven't said that we would help them uh, with air, air refueling. If, for example, Israeli F-15s were headed to bomb uh, the Iranian nuclear facilities. Are you willing to say the U.S. military should go that far if asked by Israel? Well, I think Israel will not ask that, actually, Leland. And Israel has been very adamant about uh, taking out their enemies on their own. But I do believe that we have a role to play. And we will continue to develop that in the upcoming hours, days, perhaps even weeks, as they decide what retaliation to take against Iran. I'm wondering what you see as the risks of President Biden's don't to Iran and now effectively don't to Israel going unheeded? I think the Arab nations are coming together to support Israel, partly because of the Abraham Accords that were secured in the last administration, and partly because they don't see the United stepping up into the role that we should be playing around the globe. President Biden is weak, 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 and is not doing any good um, to support Israel. All this don't, don't, don't stuff, it obviously is not working. Just to bring this back to domestic policy, which I think sort of matters here um, in a weird intersectional way, um, we've seen over time that Israel is most likely to show great restraint when they have lockstep support from the United States and from the administration. I'm wondering why such a simple concept uh, and that has long historical uh, evidence, be it George H.W. Bush in the 90s, Clinton bringing uh, Oslo uh, to the forefront, uh, the Bush attempts at a peace deal, whatever it is, when Israel is supported by the United States, they tend to listen better. Why don't you think President Biden is taking a page out of that playbook? Well, he should, but I'm not sure who is advising him on the inside on these matters. But obviously, President Biden is very weak need. He talks about escalation, whether it's in Ukraine, whether it's Israel, you name it. Perhaps even when Taiwan rolls around, um, he's not standing up for American interests overseas and supporting our friends and allies. When he is not supporting friends and allies, those friends and allies have to rely 
rely on their own resources and do what they can to push back against the authoritarian regimes that are trying to disrupt their peaceful civil societies. Um, so we have got to be a better friend and partner to our friends and partners, those that have stood with us through the decades, through the global war on terror, et cetera. Um, and President Joe Biden seems absolutely incapable of demonstrating such leadership. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.